Hey Popcorn Kid Crew, I am in a different setting tonight, but I had to get this story out tonight. You guys, how have you been? I've missed you so much. I miss you, Popcorn Crew. Well, you know what? Tonight, I have a really fun story that I'm going to share with you. It's called Milky the White House Cockroach. Did you know that there was a cockroach in the White House? Well, crew, you know what we have to do when there's a cockroach. Gotta exterminate and get rid of the cockroach. Nobody wants a cockroach in their house. This store is so much fun. And I want you to pay attention to see what you think about it. I laughed when I read it, so I said I wanted to share it with you. You guys, you are the greatest. Miss V loves you. And I know you told yourself that you were the greatest today. Come on, let me hear you say it. Say, I am the greatest. There you go. Yes, you are. You are the greatest. So because my setup is a little different, I'm going to make sure you see all the pictures, okay? Ready? Here we go. Wilkie was a young cockroach who lived with his large family behind a crack in the wall at Oscar's Pizza Palace in Washington, D.C not far from the White House. Oscar didn't bother them as long as they stayed on the floor in the back. If I ever catch a bug up on the countertop, Oscar said, I'll crush him to a pulp. But Wilkie could smell the hot pizzas coming out of the oven all day long. Don't go up there, Wilkie, pleaded his mother. You'll end up like your Uncle Julius, a stain on the wall. Uncle Julius used to return from his adventures with exciting stories of all the close calls he had. Don't be afraid to be afraid, he would tell them. Wilkie wanted more than anything to be like his Uncle Julius. He even wore a pimento cap just like he did, risky as that was for a cockroach. Wilkie still went up. Wilkie is brave, guys. Look at all those. Oh my gosh. See all those cockroaches in the pizzeria. Gross. He hid behind a tin of grated cheese and watched as Oscar slid a sizzling hot mushroom and sausage pizza into a large cardboard box, almost under Wilkie's nose. Go get it, kid, he could hear his Uncle Julius saying. You only live once. So Wilkie jumped in. He jumped in the pizza box, guys. Oscar closed the box. The sudden darkness made Wilkie feel at home. It was always the light that brought trouble for a cockroach. He couldn't believe how good and hot the melted cheese tasted. Isn't that eating the pizza in the pizza box? He ate fast because, as Uncle Julius had often told him, with eating this good, a light was coming soon. Goodness, look at him. 
that's Wilkie hiding right there. And he jumped in the pizza box and started eating. Did he pay for that pizza? Oh, by the way, you guys, he jumped in. They're delivering the pizza to the White House. That's what the White House looks like on 16th Street in Washington, D.C. Ooh, what's going to happen when he gets in there, guys? Yeah! A cockroach! And it came swiftly as the box was swung open with a cry to strike terror in the hearts of cockroaches the world over. In every language on earth, it meant the same thing. Squash him! Wilkie pulled himself out of the melted cheese and threw himself on the table. He started running towards the walls without looking back. The carpet was thick and hard to run on. He could tell from the enormous shadow that suddenly stretched across the floor that he was in big trouble. Head for the corner, he remembered Uncle Julia saying. They can't get a shoe in the corner. Look at the president right there. Look at her. That's his wife. Look at Julius. He was in the pizza box. Oh, oh my goodness. They're trying to get him. Who thinks they're going to get the cockroach? You have to wait and see. Have you read this story before, guys? Let's see what's going to happen. But this room had no corners. This was the Oval Office. This was where the President of the United States worked. Wilkie was afraid his first adventure was soon going to be his last. A door flew open and lots of people ran in. There's a cockroach in the White House, the President shouted. A cockroach in my White House, the First Lady cried out. I'll never live this down. Wilkie noticed they had left the door open, so he ran out. Look at all the confusion happening. She's standing up on the table. There's Wilkie right there. See that little dot? Oh my goodness gracious. These guys act like they've never seen a cockroach before, thought Wilkie. He was startled when part of the wall near him slid open, revealing a small room. People came running out, so Wilkie ran in. More people came running in after him, and the wall closed again. I'd like to get a look at this bug, said the chairman of the Senate Tiny Problems Committee. Let's hear what the president has to say at this emergency cabinet meeting, said the minister of dark and dirty places. When the wall opened again, Wilkie entered the cabinet room with the others riding on the polka dot dress of the secretary of interiors. Oh, God. Wilkie jumped on the lady's dress. Wilkie, what are you? Oh, gosh. What is that cockroach thinking? The president was furious. I do not intend to be the first president to have a cockroach in his White House. He bellowed, especially with the state dinner we're planning tonight in honor of the French president and his wife. 
he glared around the table at the bug czar, the minister of creepy crawlies, and the secretary of small creatures. Find that cockroach, he roared, and step on it. Let's check the kitchen, said the bug czar. Cockroaches love kitchens. Cool, a kitchen, thought Wilkie, as he clung to the secretary's dress, while everyone ran down the back stairs. The kitchen staff was busy preparing for the state dinner. There's Wilkie on the dress. Look at everybody in the kitchen. They're like, what are you all doing in here? We're getting ready to have a very important dinner. Everybody's getting upset and angry. Out, shouted the chef, out of my kitchen. Special orders from the president, said the officials. Wilkie jumped from the dress onto the table and looked for cover. Wilkie spotted some olive pits. Using all his strength, he nudged each pit off the table onto the floor, where they started rolling off in every direction, with officials in hot pursuit. Even the kitchen staff joined in. Wilkie watched from the top of the open box of raisins as they went stumbling all over the kitchen as the olives fell. He was exhausted, so he dropped down for a nap. <laughs> oh my goodness. He was on her dress and he dropped down off of it. They're looking to see, but those are raisins. There he is hiding right there. Everybody's trying to find him. They're going crazy looking for this little guy. President does not want a cockroach in his house while they're getting ready to have a state dinner for the French president and his wife. That wouldn't be cool to see a cockroach running around in the White House. All of the knowledge and advanced technology of the strongest nation on earth was brought into play to find a little cockroach this bug's goose is cooked, said the director of the FBI. By the first time the state dinner for the French president and his wife was set to begin, Wilkie was still at large. That means they couldn't find him, guys. The president put on a happy face, but you could tell he was concerned. Look guys, they have FBI involved. Federal Bureau of Investigation. Here they are at the state dinner with all their guests. Looks like he's a little nervous. Someone asked me, Miss V, you always have popcorn there, but you never eat any. I'll try to start you guys. The dinner was a huge success. The kitchen staff started preparing the dessert and rice pudding with raisins. Uh oh. Can you predict what's going to happen with raisins? You got what looks like a raisin, guys. Wilkie awoke to find himself lying on a soft bed of warm rice with his head irresistibly close to a small pool of heavy cream. He knew what Uncle Julius said and he knew what he would have done in this situation. Never pass up a chance to eat, he would say. There may not be another. So Wilkie began to nibble. 
Ooh. Oh, guys. I don't even know where he is in that picture. There's too many raisins. On top of the raisins. I mean, the um, rice pudding. Yuck! Eek! A cockroach! The French president's wife screamed brought the dinner to an abrupt halt. And once again, Wilkie found himself running for his life. The next morning at his regularly scheduled press briefing, the president was asked about rumors of a cockroach in the White House. Mr. President asked a reporter, isn't it true that the White House is infested with cockroaches, one of which viciously attacked the French president's wife in an attempt to destroy our relationship with France. As far as we know, the president replied, trying hard to control himself. We are dealing with a lone cockroach here. There's no evidence of an organized plot. Back in the story, remember the president said, you find that cockroach and step on him. That's his plan. A lot of times, it might be best to just set him free and let him go. Ugh, let's just keep on going. I don't want to think about it. Back at Oscar's Pizza Palace, even Wilkie's family heard the news conference on TV. Oh, no, cried Wilkie's mother. It's my Wilkie. I know it is. Hordes of cousins, brothers, sisters, and friends let out a loud cheer. Way to go, Wilkie! But the truth was, Wilkie was running out of ways to go. It seemed now as if everyone was after him. You've got six legs to there too, he heard Uncle Julius saying, so use them. So he did. The president met with the leaders of Congress. My friends, I'm sorry to report we have not caught the cockroach. Believe me, this is one smart, tough little bug, he told them. He has earned the respect and admiration of us all. I suggest we offer him a truce. Trust me, it will cost much less to feed him than it will to catch him. Personally, I can't wait to meet him. The Secret Service broke in to report that they had a little bug concern somewhere on the world map in the World War Room and the exterminator general was on his way. Good luck, Mr. President, the leaders called after him as he rushed out of the room. Wilkie was posing as a small island off the coast of Siberia. His pimento cap blended in with all the red pins. He saw the exterminated general enter the room in full uniform. He began to tremble. Uncle Julius had always warned him to stay away from exterminators. They're hired to kill, he said. They do it for money. Wilkie's hiding on the map over here. Guys, everybody's setting out and planning on how to catch him. 
Wait, said the president, who had just arrived. Don't spray. I'll handle this. Little bug, he said, turning to address the map. Wherever you are, let's stop this madness. You win. Let's make a truce. We can use a smart bug like you. You will be the White House cockroach, representing all bugs in America. We'll supply you with everything a cockroach could want, and no one will bother you. I will give you my word. What do you say? Wow, thought Wilkie. Wait until Mama hears this. The White House cockroach? The president was offering him a better deal than the family had at Oscars. But could Wilkie trust him? He didn't know what Uncle Julius would have done in this situation. Maybe Mama was right, he thought. I'll be squashed like Uncle Julius was, but he was tired of all the running. And besides, there was no place left for him to run. So Silky came down. Together, the president and his new White House official walked through and relieved the crowd of eager to applaud this remarkable truth between man and bug. The president was true to his word. Wilkie had everything a cockroach could want, except the most important thing, his family. The president's wife refused to allow the thousands of Wilkie's relatives to come and visit and live with him in the White House. It's not an adventure, he could hear his Uncle Julius say. If you could tell the family about this. When the president heard about Wilkie's dilemma, he was very upset. He had given his word to grant the little bug everything he ever wished. There he is. Guys, Wilkie wants to be with his whole family. What do you think is going to happen? Can you predict what's going to happen? Let's see what's going to happen. So Wilkie went home. And for the rest of their lives, the family enjoyed hot pizzas and the Secret Service protection, courtesy of the President of the United States of America. Well done, kid, he thought he heard Uncle Julius saying. The end. Great story, guys. Wilkie, the White House Cockroach. You guys, you know what's getting ready to happen next year. So it's very important for you to prepare your parents and say mom and dad, auntie, uncle, brother, sister, cousins, whoever, get yourself prepared to vote. 2020 is just a few weeks away. And the election is going to be there before you know it. There's a lot of shenanigans going around. Get yourself registered to vote as soon as you can. And don't make up any excuses not to vote. No vote is a vote. Get yourself out there and vote. And Miss V is not going to tell you which way to go. We don't want any roaches in the White House. No, no, no. You are the greatest. Miss V loves you. Make sure that you always do the best you can. And I hope to see you soon. Peace and love. See you soon, my friends.